the Springfield Prodigy DS. Take the magazine out of the gun. Chamber's clear. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna mount this dragonfly on here. I thought this gun was gonna come with the dragonfly already mounted. It did not. So here is your dragonfly. And in with the instructions with the dragonfly is gonna come your battery and gonna come your screws. These are number six, 48, okay? And it's marked on here for you. And you're gonna get your mounting plate that's gonna come with it with some screws to put your mounting plate on. So let's get that out. It's coming with four screws, some short ones and long ones. We'll have to determine which ones to use. You're gonna need a T10 to do this with. And first thing we need to do, we cleared the gun. First thing we need to do is take this plate off right here. So let's just back these screws out. Easy enough, it comes right off. Let's see if we can use one of these bags that we got. Don't forget to label the things as you take them off. I promise you'll end up with parts and screws sitting around and you don't know what they go to. So once we take it off, it's actually pretty clean up here, but just to be on the safe side, we're gonna clean it. A Little bit of brake fluid and a Q-tip. We're just reaching inside here, gonna kind of screw it in a little bit. So look at that. Make sure you clean the grease out of here so that your screws grab. Use the clean side to clean the next one. Don't use the same dirty one. We'll just force it in and screw it in here. I'm gonna test the trigger pull while that dries. Six pounds, 11 ounces. Six pounds, nine ounces. There is an angle here on the rear, if you can see that. So you've got to kind of stuff it in at an angle. And it seats in there really easy, but it was getting stuck at first. So you just got to gently kind of put it in and let it seat in the position, okay? The screws that came with the battery and with the Dragonfly will not work in this installation. These screws are just a little bit longer than the ones that Springfield sends you. So these number 648s, let's put these to the side. We're not gonna use them. But the two sets of screws that come with your plate, your optic plate, these are what we're gonna use. The two short screws will attach this plate to the top of the slide and the two long screws will attach your dragonfly to this plate. These are just a little bit shorter than the screws that come with the dragonfly. I put the ones in from the dragonfly and they stuck out on the bottom of the plate so they would not seat all the way. These are a little bit shorter and when I put them in they come flush to the bottom of the plate. So this is what we're going to use what came in this package together to mount it. These two screws didn't come with Loctite, so let's just clean these screws up the same way. So we put a little cleaner on our screws and clean them. We'll add a little Loctite before we install them. Okay, we got everything all cleaned up. We're ready to do our installation now. So first thing we do is slide the plate in. Take the shorter two screws that already have the Loctite on them. Drop them in the position. We're just gonna start one, then start the other one. Now we'll just snug this one down. We'll snug this one down. We're gonna use our Wheeler Fat Wrench. And I'm putting 16 inch pounds of pressure on here. We wanna install our battery. 
plus side up, we want to just gently press this into position. Nice and flush in there. Now, the instructions state that it comes with a base plate on here to keep out dust and dirt, but I do not have a base plate that came with mine, so I'm going to have to install it directly onto the mounting plate here. So we just slip it into place. We need to put Loctite on our screws. I should have already done that. Doesn't take a lot of Loctite, just a little bit. Drop our first screw in, let's get it started. We're not gonna put a lot of pressure on this screw at first. We're just dropping it into place. Second screw goes into position. Now let's tighten the second screw down. Not all the way, we're just gonna snug it. Apply a little pressure. Let's jump back to this side. Just apply a little pressure back to this side. Small amounts of pressure to each side. Let's look at the optic. Make sure it's on here nice and tight. Everything's seated well. Now the Dragonfly instructions say 12 inch pounds of pressure here. So there's 12 and 12. 12 inch pounds of pressure on these screws to tighten them up. So not that difficult to put it on. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Pressure button, hold it down for three seconds. It should turn on. Not sure if you guys can see the red dot in there or not. I was a little shocked that it wasn't on the gun when it actually did arrive. Uh, I would have thought they'd have had that mounted and sighted in for you, especially at the price you pay for it. Relatively easy to install. And because I did have to use Loctite on two of the screws, we're going to let this thing sit for 24 hours before we go to the range and actually fire it, okay? So I hope the video helps some of you guys to install this on your Prodigy. So remember, be a responsible adult. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safe. Secure your firearms. Till next time, folks. Take care.